In this video, we'll discuss some of the useful commands for adding, modifying, and finding records within our collections. We'll be using the Mongo shell to execute these commands. It's a good idea to get to know these shell commands before diving into Node because the code that we write will end up using a lot of these methods and look very similar. We're only going to be using some of the methods that are found in the MongoDB document reference. You can see all of them located right here. We'll be looking at the ones that we use the most, such as update, insert, find, and remove. So I'm going to start as we did previously by opening up two command prompts. One of them will have mongod running in order for me to open up our mongo shell. Let's start off by creating a new database. And we can do that by using the use command. So we'll say use example. Whenever we're using our mongo shell to execute commands and hook up to any of our databases, we always use the prefix db dot. So the first thing that I want to do is add a new collection to my example database and name it cars. And I can do that by using the create collection command. So we'll say db dot create collection and then we'll pass in cars as the name of our first collection and we get an OK response. Now I can use the command show collections and you can see that I've added a new collection called cars. I've also added a couple other collections already in here called car and things. For a lot of these examples I'm going to start using a text file and then copy over into the terminal command what I'm writing here. So the first thing that I want to do is add a new document into our cars collection. And to do that, I can simply use the insert method. Now I can define whatever key value pairs that I want to insert into this document. I'll give my new document a name of Honda, a make of a cord in the year of 2010. A couple points that I want to make. Number one, we can include a semicolon at the end of this or not. It's optional. It's also optional to use single or double quotation marks. So we could use the single ones or the double ones. And it's also optional to use quotation marks around surrounding the key so we can use quotation marks or not. And the reason is because everything that we're submitting is in the form of JSON. So this is a JSON object. But once we actually submit it to our database, it gets converted into BSON. So I'm going to copy this over into our terminal. and I'm going to add it. And as you can see, I get a right result and inserted one. So now it should show up in our database. In order to print or find the document that we just created, I use the find method and then I chained it to pretty. So pretty just gives us a better formatting for displaying the document that we already have added. Now I'm going to show you how to update this document. So say I wanted to change any of these key values to something different. I wanted to change the name to something else, the make or the year. We can easily do that using the update method. So I can say update.car or excuse me, db.car.update. The first parameter will be what document that I want to modify. And in this instance, I want to modify the Honda. So now MongoDB will look for a car collection with the name of Honda. And in order to modify that, I have to use a set parameter. 
so I can say set and now I'm able to change whatever it is that I want on the document so I could specify that I wanted to change the make the year or the name in this instance I want to change the name from Honda to Ford I'm going to copy this over into my terminal okay and it looks like we got a success message the right result says that we found the match and that we modified it so now I can use my db.car.find.pretty we can see that the name has changed from Honda to Ford now I want to show you an example of how we're able to update our document by adding something to it so we have a document of cars and now I want to add to this document a key value pair for the transmission being automatic or manual and all I need to do in order to add something new to my document is by using the upsert key so I still want to update and instead of this being a Honda remember we changed it to the name Ford so now we're gonna look for our Ford and at the end of this we're gonna add a third parameter called upsert and this is basically an optional parameter that we can pass in when we're finding or modifying documents and it takes a boolean the default is false but we can set it to true and we're going to still use our set command but we're just going to put in what it is that that is new that we want to add to our document and we're going to add transmission and we're going to make it automatic so now I'm going to copy this over okay and we get our result of matched and modified so now if I take a look at our modified document we can see that a new key value pair of transmission automatic has been added one other method that I want to show you in this video is the remove method so to remove a document from a collection is pretty easy we can just say DB the collection that we want to look into and then remove if we pass in an empty object it will remove all of the documents from the collection Alternatively, we can pass in what it is that we want to remove. So I can pass in name Ford, and it will remove the documents with the name equaling Ford. And we have one that it's found and it's removed. So I could say db.card.find and I get nothing back. So it's removed all those documents.